Welcome to Microsoft Word 2010 tutorial for beginnings. If you do not understand something during this tutorial video, just rewind the video to repeat that particular session. In this video, uh, you will learn the different components of a computer, like CPU or central processing unit is basically the brain of your computer. The CPU is used to process everything from basic to complex function in a computer. Then the second component is a keyboard. A keyboard allows a computer user to enter text into the computer system. Then number three is the monitor. The part of the computer that allows you to see the computer is processing. And the printer. The, the printer allows you to print the work you have done and have a hard copy for your file. And finally, the mouse. Mouse has four functions. First is click. That means uh, it means that you push the left side of the mouse only one time. Then we have double click. Double click is a shortcut. You click twice on the left side of the mouse. Then right click. By clicking on the right side of the mouse, you can open a menu bar. This menu bar changes from one program to another. And where you are in that program. The last function of the mouse is click and drag. When you want to mark off, select, or highlight a word, a sentence, a paragraph, or the whole document. To, uh, in order to do that, you have to point the mouse to the first word, click, hold it down, and drag the mouse to the, to the end of the word sentence, paragraph, or the whole document, and let go of the mouse. Now, I, uh, in the second part, you're going to learn how to format a paragraph. I'm going, I have a paragraph here, which I'm going to open it, and uh, I'm going to show you how to change the spelling, how to make a text bold face or italic or underline, how to center a title, how to move a sentence from one place to another, how to double space, and finally how to save and print a file. I'm going to click on this icon and open the paragraph. I have this paragraph that we are going to format it together. The first thing, I, let's, uh, I'm going to show you how to change the spelling. As you can see, when there, a word is misspelled, there is a, uh, underline, a red underline. Uh, so to change that, we have to go in in the middle of this red underline and right click. When you right click, it, uh, Microsoft Word gives you these options. Then we are going to click on the correct spelling word. And the correct spelling would automatically uh, replace the wrong one. Then the second misspell word is program. Right click and we are replacing it with program. Then we have another red wavy underline un under sophisticated. So go anywhere in this red wavy underline and right click, then replace the wrong spelling. Okay, now we check this spelling and another way to do that, if you have a long uh, a file, like a few pages of file, uh, you can just uh, d d click on, on the review tab and then click on ABC spelling and grammar check. 
Now we're going I'm going to go and click on the home tab again. Now how do you want to ball first this word? We have to select what we want to do. So go ahead and select Microsoft Word by clicking at the beginning of the word and dragging it to the last letter, which is D. Now, on the Home tab, on the Font group, this is the Font group here. Click on the B for bold. And now get rid of that selection, the blue selection color, and this word is bold face. Now let's go ahead and select the second Microsoft Word. This time we want to use the italic and underline. Now we did uh, the bold and italic on this second Microsoft Word. Now we want to center the the title of the of the file. So let's go ahead, click before A, and on the paragraph group, which is this part, and we are still on the home tab. So on the paragraph group, click on this icon that says center, and the title will jump into the center line. Now let's see how to uh, move a sentence from one place to another. You see this last sentence that's here at the bottom of the file? Go ahead and uh, there is a period after that. Uh, let's go ahead and delete the period and type a comma instead. So select the whole sentence here by clicking and dragging the mouse. Then on the home tab on the clipboard group you can see the word cut with the picture of scissor. You can use this one or you can go to this blue area and right click and use this one. It's the same thing. We, get, we are going to cut this sentence. Now, where this sentence belongs to is here right before this U with the green underline. So go ahead, click on before U and click on the word paste or you can also right click and use this button. So I'm going to paste it right here. Now that sentence appear here, which is the correct uh, place for that sentence. Now it's going to read when you have checked everything in your essay, comma, you can print a perfect copy. Now, how do we want to double space a paragraph? In order to double space a paragraph, we have to select the whole paragraph again. So you go to the first word, click on the mouse, and drag it to the last word. Now, in order to double space uh, this, uh, this paragraph, again, we are going to, we are still on the home tab. So we are going to the paragraph group and click on this, uh, point your mouse on this icon and it tells you line and paragraph spacing. And go ahead, click on that tiny arrow and click on U. When you move your mouse, you can see that the paragraph will change in front of your eyes. So just click on the two and then there we go. We double space the paragraph. Now, uh, how to indent a uh, the first line of a paragraph? To indent the first line, we go ahead and click on uh, before the M on the first line and hit the tab key once. And 
This way, we are indenting the first, uh, the first line of the paragraph. Now, the last part is when we want to save our file. To save this file, we're going to, to click on this file. And the first time, we have to click on Save As. When you click on the Save As, we have to, if we have a jump drive to save our file into, we are have to find our jump drive which is here and it says removable disk so if you click on this whatever we uh, we have we are going to save it on the jump drive not on the computer and the uh, the drive name is right here on top then after we have to give it a name whatever name that is uh, that you want and it's easy to remember for the next time that you want to open the file and we click save. Then the last part we want to print our, our uh, paragraph. So go ahead, click on file and print. When you click on print, it shows you right in this part, it shows you a preview of what you want to print. Then we want one copy, so we don't we leave this alone. We're not going to change that. And we click on print, and then we are going to have a hard copy uh, for ourselves.